Hey guys, so I just recently started across Britney Spears' new music video, Summer Party, and of course I fell in love with her makeup look, especially at the start of the video. So if you would like to see my interpretation of her makeup, then please keep on watching. So quickly zipping through my hair, I'm just basically pulling up to a very, very high ponytail, and of course wrapping it up into a bun, attaching it off with a bobby pin because my elastic broke, and then just attaching several pieces of my extensions, in fact all of them except for the individual ones. I'm just basically wrapping it around in a bun shape to create obviously the appearance of a messy bun. So then getting started with my face, I'm taking my moisturiser, which is the Daily Johnson's one, I'm of course moisturising my face. So taking my not so moisturising foundation, I'm pretty sure it's the Sun Beige, it's from Maybelline. I'm just doing it all over my face, but then officially blending it in next. Now the reason why it doesn't blend so well or match me probably is because I'm not currently very tan, and I do have another one, but my cat accidentally broke it. So then going with my ABH Contour Cream Palette, I'm taking the lightest concealer shade and just using my foundation brush just to move this all over my face so I can lighten up, literally. So whilst I have it out, I'm just concealing some spots that are still showing through. And with the other end of my petal brush, I am just of course highlighting under my eyes. I will also be taking this onto my forehead, my chin and the cheek parts of my jawline. So same story with every other video, I'm just basically blending this in with my foundation brush. And then I'm taking my Laura Mercier setting powder because I run out of my selfie powder. I'm using my bronzer brush just to set under my eyes. And then with the same powder, I'm taking my powder brush and setting the rest of my face. Now Britney's brows aren't very dark, they are very very light, so taking the same products I use anyway, I'm just basically in very very vividly filling my brows in. And then using the spoolie end just to diffuse the product some. So sorry for blending you, but I'm taking some of uh, Walk of Shame and I'm just basically sculpting slash contouring my nose as Britney has a very obvious sculpted nose. So once I was happy with the way it was looking, I then used my finger just to smudge it down to a nice seamless line. And then using my Laura Mercier palette just to clean up and to take away the natural shadow that my nose naturally has and then flick away the excess bake. So then diving into my pair of makeup palettes from Nikki Tutorials, I am taking the shade Chocolate Soli and I'm going to be using this to contour. So then I'm taking my MAC Paint Postless Ochre and my Real Stance Brush and of course I am priming my eyes. I'm focusing most of the products on my lower lid but then bringing the rest of it what's left on my upper lid. And then taking both Venus and Foxy to set my eyes in place. So here is my reference picture. I'm sorry that the ring lights in the way but this is obviously a picture of Britney Spears like no. This is the reference picture I'll be going by. I actually had to borrow this from someone on the internet, but this is what I'll be using. So taking Makeup and Shield to start off with, with my lip definer brush, I'm basically going to be sketching up my lashes. That makes no sense, but you know what I mean? Basically the same thing as what you'll do with eyeliner. Then of course, very very faintly adding a winged liner. So basically what I did for my top lid, I'm just mimicking on my lower lid. I'm only bringing it about halfway in, I'm leaving the inner edge alone. And of course just connecting it up with the tail. So now taking my pencil brush, I'm basically just going to start enhancing what's already there, but using the same shade, uh, makeup and chill. I'm just basically enhancing what I've already done, which I said twice now, but Basically, you can see what I'm doing. So 
So now taking the shade of Wanted and on the same brush, I'm just basically adding some more depth to what the shade's already there, basically enhancing it even more by adding some more depth. And basically whatever's left on the brush, I'm just dragging into my inner V, or my inner T duct I meant. If you happen to have made your wing a little bit too strong, you can just rub it off with your finger and just smudge it and it'll look better again. So taking the shade of Wanted once more and on my lip definer brush, I'm basically just adding some more depth right and down to my lashes. I'm just pulling my lid upwards, I'm just basically tight line to give the appearance of floral looking lashes. I'm also taking onto my lower lash line as well, my waterline, and I'm also taking onto my inner tear duct area, so all the way through. So just quickly whilst playing in my mind, I am bronzing up my face. I did also bake the sides of my eyes just to sharpen up the shadows, but apparently that part got cut out. I did also add some shimmer tones to my inner tear duct and just on the outer edge of my eye, but apparently that part also got cut off, so you didn't miss too much on just basically bronzing up my face now. So diving back into the eyes, I'm just taking a little bit of Pangula, which is a transition node, I'm just placing this into my crease just so that there's something there. And then taking some of Ivy, some of Sugar Coated, and at the last second, I'm taking some Champagne Truffle from the Kitty Taurus palette and just basically using these shades as my brow bone highlights. The and then just going through and making sure it's all soft and seamless and blended and smudged and all the good stuff. So I'm taking a pair of eyelashes, I have no idea what these are called, but they are lash strip, but they sit rather individually or separated. So I am taking some of Nikki Tutorial's Precision Pen and I'm just basically tracing over the lash glue just so that the we uh, weft, it's not an extension channel, so I'm just uh, the glue sits better blended. So of course sweeping away the bait because it doesn't need to be there anymore. Now going in with Candy K or Coco K, I'm taking only the lip liner, I'm not going to be using the lipstick, I'm just basically filling my lips in with the lip liner. And once I have got my lips completely filled in with this stuff, I'm then going in with Shine Sensational, it's like a random lip gloss, so I'm just going to put this on top. Brittany has got like a um, glossy lip, but she also has a nude lip, and I mean you can use a nude lipstick if you want, but I just have to go for the lip. Uh, lip liner and then the lips gloss and then I'm taking some of Justify My Love Blush and it's something I don't usually remember to do so I'm of course just blushing up my cheeks Derp. So then taking the original Champagne Truffle and just basically highlighting my cheekbones with my blender brush I'm also going to be highlighting the rest of the high points of my face So now going with a round two of highlight on my cheekbones because I want to beam to the gods, as guard gods. I'm basically just now setting my face in place and that is it for the makeup portion. So I am also just pulling out some baby hairs because Brittany had like little floppy hair, pieces of hair sticking out. It's also a pretty good way to indicate that you have a lot of damage done to your hair. So this concludes the makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did happen to enjoy it, I will then see you all for my future videos. Bye guys!